in our session we will be discussing about the use of coordinate system in AutoCAD 2D so as I explained in my earlier lecture the class of coordinate system or the type of coordinate system which you use in AutoCAD 2D can be broadly classified into three categories one is the relative rectangular coordinate system one is the relative polar coordinate system and the last one is the absolute coordinate system so this is the global 0 0 where you can see the x and y for easy designation I have specified for your understanding the plus direction of x at x and the minus as well the y direction so for different specifications we have done so with respect to this by using different coordinate system how can you define if you go for line command and you define your first point with respect to this 0 0 and the second point I may be using by using relative polar coordinate system or relative rectangular coordinate system or absolute so how you can switch and set the type of coordinate system so before defining the end point you go to DYN control right click and go to setting and here you can see the pointer input go for this setting and go for the polar or if you require you can go for the Cartesian and also the condition you, you can specify here like relative or absolute so I need to go for relative and I can go for the Cartesian so if you go for OK you can again go for OK you set the unit that means if you specify your required distance like if you go for at the rate the x is 15 tap and y is 5 you can define your object go for enter to exit this is the item which we have defined recently and this is the length which we have specified with respect to the global origin one is 15 and another is 5 which you can directly see here if you go to the dimensioning you can also confirm about the different parameters which you have set this is the re relative distance which we have de not defined but the distance which we have defined is with respect to the center how far it is you can see this is 15 and another one is with respect to center the height that is 5 which I have defined so if you see how this 15.81 came you can directly execute this through the calculator or you can apply the Pythagoras theorem for sine and cosine and you can get it how this came as 15.81 just like that you can also use polar coordinate system so for that I will be showing you one example let us say this is our global 0 0 and I am going for line command and I am starting from this 0 and I need to go for the polar so you go to the dynamic control and go to setting again switch to setting and switch to here polar and go for ok and ok and now if I need the distance as 100 tap you can see now the angle specification I will go for 45 you can define it and go for enter and this is the line which we have defined with an angle of 45 and the relative distance just like that if you go for the line and this is the center point and I will be going for this side as the distance is 100 but the angle is 150 you can define that in this way so in polar coordinate system with respect to the 0 0 you specify the distance then angle and in your relative rectangular coordinate system you specify x and y but in case of absolute coordinate system you always refer your global 0 0 so for example if I am going for a line and I am defining this by 0 comma 0 next point I will be defining as 100 comma 50 that means x is 100 and y is 50 and I got my point so 
next I will be defining let us say x is 100 and y is 120 you can define the points absolutely these points are having the specified distance which we have defined you can right click and you can go to properties and you can check your data which you have entered like x is how much and y is how much so all these dimensions are related to this 0 0 and if you select this line I have specified 150 you can see this is 100 and this is 50 and for this I have specified the x is 100 and y is 50 but for this case the case is different the related distance accordingly will be specified with respect to the previous point 